welcome back to Let's Play Dot Hack Outbreak. Now we can finally get on with the storyline, because Wise Man is sending us to Pulsating Truth's Core. The keywords that should take us directly to Netslum. Now you can go here solo if you want to. It's not that bad. But I happen to have a party together, so a party I shall take. You're here. This is the message from Helba. I don't want to go anywhere alone. Oh, and one other thing. Ever since that day, there's been a troublesome fellow living here. Since you are here, can you get rid of it? Now, what he's referring to is a particular enemy living in the back end of this place. The data bug is at the opening in the back. I'm counting on you. Battle mode on! Where's the battle? It's this way. This way is the battle. It's a data bugged harpy. It's not a bad fight. Not a bad fight. He, uh, she, I guess you could say, goes down pretty easily, especially if you have a party with you. However, I really prefer when she casts that wood spell, because it barely hurts at all. Her melee attacks, on the other hand, are actually a little frustrating. And you know what, maybe I should set everyone to skills. There we are, protect break! Ooh, well, I'm still yellow from last time. I haven't got around to, uh, clearing out my infection rate. And down goes the Now it's spread even more. Oh, and especially with Wise Man casting spells, that went a lot faster. Thank you. Feng Shui. All right, let's go back to town. No, I didn't pronounce it correctly. What of it? Now then, we have a keyword from Helba herself. And we also got a Feng Shui. Technically it's pronounced Feng Shui, but I don't care. Feng Shui sounds funny, so I'm calling it a Feng Shui. Earth element parameter plus one. So make our way back to Sigma. And we are supposed to go to this area alone, so I guess that means we get to drop off the rest of our party members. Later, peoples. Thank you for today. Take care. Quite a worthwhile adventure. Do invite me again. Now, not only do we have... ...tested Quicksilver Valkyrie, but we have the next round of Goblin Tag! Maximum output! The power to weight ratio is F1 level! Now, this round is a little bit different from the previous one, in that the guys are not only a little bit faster, but they cure each other. Fun times are to be had. Now, since I may go through more than one speed charm, and I didn't feel like buying a thousand of them from the store, I just went back and got the time bangles, or whatever. Let's see, where are they? Time Bracer, there we are. That I got in the end of the first game. This has Apdo, which casts the speed up on myself, so I can just keep casting it on myself. Apdo, Apdo. And then you chase one down. The trick when chasing him down is to try to run parallel with him, and get him to curve into you, and then smack him. This is a long and tedious process, especially if he runs near his friends who will cure him. In fact, they're probably trying to already. The little jerks. 
Either way, I'm gonna be at this for like the next hour and a half, and I got a white cherry. I'm gonna be at this for like the next hour and a half, so, uh... <laughs> I will say, everything in the way in the field out here is probably a more aggravating thing than anything else in doing this. Other than that, it just takes some time. Let's see here, I don't know if I said before, but if you cast magic on them, it does not stun them in place. So you can only really hit them maybe once with magic, and they have a really high resistance to magic, so not exactly the way to go. The specs couldn't match the power up. God. Also, then, if you hit them with an attack spell, they're not stunned by that either, so you'll maybe hit them once with it. Melee attacks, only way to go. Here we go, though! Out! I never want to speak of him again. Now then, we do finally have tested Quicksilver Valkyrie, which we have to go to alone. Is this... Has this game not been hard enough already that they're giving me another solo dungeon? Yeah, at least it's only level 52. Tiny Apple! Oh hey, a forest-type feel. You don't see many of these. And I think they're just about the only place to get piney apples. More grunty food. Guess this is a nice way to force me to fight enemies on the field, though. With any luck, they won't be that bad. They are about ten levels or so lower than me. I'm hacking through this guy pretty good, so I'm feeling pretty good about myself. If I could hit him at all... Really, what's my accuracy anyway, status? My accuracy is 99! I should never be missing you! I should never miss you! Ah, oh, well, cure myself up some, head, in, head on into the next area. Rip, yeah, let's put that one on me. Long as it's a solo dungeon, get dang it! I didn't want to open the chest, I wanted to hit that button, and then hit the open chest button, which is the same as the confirm button, to wreck cast rig say I'm on myself. Great, now I'm poisoned. I think. I don't know what I have, what is that? Oh, Riptane didn't cure it. Head, head, head. I wasn't paying attention when it was put on me, so I got nothing. Okay, Rip Sync cured it. Now, if I'm not mistaken, the enemies in this dungeon actually cast, um, poison on you fairly often, which is cured by the demon's cap, not by my other cap, so I'll keep this one on. Hey, you! Uh, only one of you? That isn't so bad. No, I'd like to use an attack skill on you, but I'd really like a death effect on you, so I think I'll go for that instead. And maybe I can just kill you. Anything else while I'm in here? Not looking like it. Ah, you, the Napalons. Napalon. I don't know how you pronounce it. The Napalons cure everyone, including themselves, so they are quite frustrating. 
Maxwell here does a great deal of damage, but dies fairly quickly, so I kill him with fairly high priority. But the one who cures people? Oh, he takes highest priority easy. That's what I'm looking for, Ulrich. Because I am in need of curing myself. Now where's my fortune wire, so that I may open this chest and not get exploded by it like before? More of them! They are mage types too, so not only do they cure, but they can cast a pretty mean spell. Oh, and they have SP Drain, glorious day. At the very least, they're low enough level now I can kill them without too much trouble. 